Hello everyone at Simpletivity, it's Francesco here. Uh, thank you to Scott for having me back on your channel. It's really amazing to be here. I love all of Scott's videos, uh, especially love his Trello videos and his Google Calendar videos. As I've said in the past, they are some of the best resources. So I'm actually gonna include in description a few of my favorite uh, ones that Scott has put out um, and, uh, and that'll be great. So uh, you can dive into that one. Scott is also gonna be doing a video on my channel. So jump over and join in the fun uh, because there'll be a video of his there. As you can see by the title, I'm gonna be talking about uh, how you can use Evernote and Todoist together. Uh, now, this is a sort of topic that I'm gonna be diving into a bit more detail on the channel, but I wanted to give you sort of like a, a basic overview of how you can use them together in sort of three contexts. So a short introduction on Todoist and Evernote. Todoist is basically for your to-dos, your tasks, uh, and that's basically where you can store all of those activities. Now, if you haven't tried it out, it's a really good task manager. It brings together some really strong features with a really simplistic and flexible experience so that you can get things done across a day with a bit of ease. Uh, and Evernote is the same. It's very flexible uh, and you can use it and structure it in a way that you like. I, I am a big fan of Evernote and I use both of these in tandem. Now, Evernote is really for your notes. Uh, so you can use it for clipping meeting notes all the way over to your ideas and bringing together presentations and things like that. Now, when it comes to using both of these together, in like a situation for example the first situation you could use them is starting a new project now inside of evernote what i tend to do if i'm starting a new project is create a new note and start documenting a few ideas or a few things like a checklist or to-do list to help bring together the sort of outline of the things i need to do next i tend to just block out a bit at the top so that i can have a few like uh, checklist items there and it's a good way for me to get started but once as you can imagine you've got started you need to be able to connect that to your task manager so I do not use Evernote as my task manager what I do is with those checklist items I tend to just copy over and I could either be selecting the whole copy of it all of the items or just individual items and pasting them into an Ever uh, a to do this project this way I can basically take all of my uh, notes and uh, like pre actions and bring them into reality where I have a tick off and I can add a due date and information like that. So bringing them from Evernote to Todoist makes them more of a reality. What I do then is, for example, if I have like a task like film this video, uh, I would, and I made some notes inside of Evernote, what I do is I copy some of those notes over and put them inside of the comment section of the Todoist uh, task. This way, when it comes around to doing the task, I don't necessarily have to go back to Evernote. If I wanted to, I could, which is great. I, if, I, if it was a lot of detail and I couldn't store it all in comments, what I'd do is I'd add a link to the Evernote note. That way I can click out and go straight into the, uh, the uh, full information without the need of actually uh, you know, making it too complicated. So once you start a project inside of Todoist, you could actually use the comment abilities as well to communicate with people, which is great. Uh, so that's one of the ways that I use uh, Evernote and Todoist together when starting new projects. I tend to use my Evernote as my canvas for getting all of those ideas and tasks out. And then Todoist is my action board for getting those things done. And the good thing is with Todoist is you can add other people and start actioning them, assigning them as well, and delegating them to other people. So the next sort of context area is, is clipping things across my day. As you can imagine, uh, when you're in a day, you end up clipping a lot of things. A lot of people, what they do is instead of clipping things, they just like watch them. So for example, it could be, you know, you find a really good article or a YouTube video and you're like, okay, I'm gonna watch this now. That could potentially be distracting to your routine or your workflow. So grabbing like that URL of that YouTube video or that article and saving it for later does help because it helps me to come back to it for later, clipping all the information, but not actually getting distracted at that given time. So I will do that using the Todoist inbox in my day. If I see a link that I like, I'll clip it in the Todoist inbox and get it there so that it's ready. And the same with Evernote. If I find a bit of research or a bit of information, I'll use the web clipper to bring that in. Now, let's say I'm working on a project and let's say I get an email with a bit of information about the project and I wanna clip it to both Todoist and Evernote. Now, Todoist and Evernote both have this thing called a specific URL, um, email address. So you basically can clip 
the email address for Todoist, uh, for a specific Todoist project, and also an, your Evernote inbox as well. Basically put them in the BCC of the email, and all of the information, including attachments, will be sent over uh, into Todoist, for example, and Evernote. Now it will appear in more bleed, like full bleed in Evernote, but in Todoist it will appear as a task, and in the comments we'll have all of the um, information, and you'll find those inside of projects. But that's a good handy way to start sending things into project, or sending conversations into project, and catching up with them inside of Evernote or Todoist. So in the third context, uh, I, in terms of planning, like planning's an important part of your day, and what I'll do is I'll use uh, Evernote as my big vision planning. Um, I tend to plan inside of Evernote that's anything like a month onwards, literally. I will go there to plan and action stuff and get things ready as a big picture, but I'll use to do this as literally my next seven days all the way up to the end of the month. I've never really stored too many tasks that are like past a month inside of Todoist because I want to keep things short term in Todoist and things long term in Evernote. Mainly because I feel like Todoist is more about actions and Evernote is more about vision planning, is getting things ready for the future. So actually having Todoist as that actionable items helps to make it faster, it helps me to not store necessarily, because I used to store like my long term goals in Todoist and it just got messy. So having Todoist as my short term action item Items really does help. Now, of course, you may have seen a couple of experiences that you can set up with Todoist and Evernote in applications like Zapier or IFTTT, which are great, and I'll probably be exploring them in a future video. Probably needs a tad more detail. And there are other apps as well on iPhone like Workflow that will help you to bring those together. For me at the moment, just using them like this, using the sort of like uh, ability to use the context and planning and, and visioning is pretty much my scope of it but there are lots of different ways that you can do that so I'll include a few ways other people are using Todoist and Evernote to sort of go a bit further anyway guys I hope that you enjoyed uh, today's video uh, thanks to Scott for having me here on the Simple Divity channel uh, it's great to be here so I'll probably be back and Scott will be over on my channel so feel free to subscribe to both of us in the description below it's free we put out regular videos and I'm sure you enjoy it uh, just before we go uh, if you want to join the new Facebook group for the Keep Productive Community, which is the name of my channel, feel free to add it. Uh, join it in the description below. There are lots of other like-minded people that uh, will be sharing apps and resources like this. So feel free to jump in and uh, become part of the community. Thank you so much to Scott. Uh, uh, kudos on all of his videos as normal. He is a great guy. Definitely check them out. Um, but thanks everyone for watching. Feel free to use the comments below and I'll be there to answer any questions or queries or just chat with you guys. So guys, thanks very much. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.